Okay, then we did, we spent 2.6 million in short term repairs at the Wifakuchi plant. This was, we were having violations of our permit, we were, the equipment was at the end of its useful life, and we needed something, we had to do something to keep it in permit compliance and keep keep it running yeah, until it was all the new plant came. Flood. It was all damaged from the 2000. And a lot of that was the, we, and the unique thing. When we had all the damage in 2009, FEMA would not let us replace it with new equipment. It had to be the same equipment. I mean, we did get a new chlorine system because they didn't make the old system anymore. So they would only let you replace with what was already existing. And they wouldn't let us do any major work for yeah. three years until they denied the claim. So we were prohibited from working on the plant until they and one, the This is one of the unique things about this also about the flood. You see it when screen is installed. We had just purchased brand new bar screens for the Withlacoochee plant. Had them sitting on site. The contract was scheduled to install them the next month and then we had the flood. <laughs> so what we did on that, we said, no, we're not going to put them in there because we know this is going to happen again. We silenced them, but we use them. We use, and this is one of the things about this 2.6 million. We use them at, up at the head of the plant <laughs> and the degrading system to get the screens out there because you get rags and plastics in the treatment process, it covers everything out. Not only are we using them there, but they're going to be moved up to the new plant as well. They cut them down to size so that they can be taken on their stainless steel, so they can be taken from here and reused at the new plant. Henry, one thing we didn't mention when we talked about the new plant when we built it, obviously we're going to meet all of Georgia's regulations, but we're actually exceeding that, aren't we? Right. On the, on the permit for the new plant, we'll get a little bit of that. I think we've got that on there somewhere. Maybe not. Uh, we designed the plant. <clears throat> we know that Georgia's going to eventually follow the same uh, road that uh, Department of Environmental Protection in Florida did with the regulations on nutrient removal, things of that nature. So we had the plant designed to meet the Florida criteria for nutrient removal and treatment capabilities. So while we're getting a brand new plant, our permit doesn't call for it, that plant can meet the new criteria whenever Georgia adopts it. Then we had nitrification air pipe, we had to replace all the air piping. You could walk around the plant when, on a rainy day and you could see it bubbling up where all that piping had corroded. So we had to replace all the piping, de-ragging piping. We had to work on all the filters. We had to install new blowers. Those new blowers are going to be moved up to the new plant as well. We brought in a mobile filter, a belt filter press. That plant, that will be moved up to the new plant as well. So not only did we spend, and since we've done this work, that plant has not had an overflow has not had a, a major violation of its permit. It had one excursion on pH more due to rainfall during a heavy rainfall and flood event. But it has met all the permit requirements. And that's at a 98% removal rate. That's BO2 